and simply adding a graphics card revive an old PC? That is the question we are going to answer tonight. The subject in question is AMT Lumbridge, a not so well aged Dell Dimension 9150 tower. It is a machine that has done me well over the years, but attempting to play current games on it with its aged hardware is near impossible. The aging Pentium D chip just can't seem to keep up. I've since added better graphics to it, but I wanted to show the performance upgrade offered by going from completely stock to new, which means I'm going to have to reinstall the disgusting card it came with. Ugh. First of all, how did the machine run current titles with the stock GPU? Well, Bioshock Infinite and Crisis refused to start entirely. But we got an average of 5 frames per second and a maximum of 8 frames per second on Dead Island at the lowest settings on the lowest resolution. And Far Cry 3 graced us with 3 frames per second as the average and a maximum of 8 on the lowest settings at the lowest resolution, which is not playable at the least. While Skyrim surprised me with an average of 15 frames per second and a maximum of 22, all of course running on the lowest resolution with the lowest settings. Now these scores don't impress anyone, but will adding this R9 to 70X turn an old veteran into a machine capable of running Crisis at 1080p? Or will that aging Pentium D chip hold it back? The first thing I had to do was add a more serious 600 watt power supply to support the bigger graphics card. But once I did that, the card fits snugly in the dimension case. Now the card is in and the drivers are loaded, let's see if Lumbridge can kick some serious 1080p gaming ass. Well, Bioshock Infinite now opened without any problems, but the good news stopped there. Running at ultra settings at 1080p, we got an average of 25 frames per second and a maximum of 38 frames per second. Sure, this is playable, but you can already see that the Pentium D chip is holding the Radeon back, as when paired with a newer Core i3 chip, we were looking at an average of 83 frames per second and 121 frames per second as the max, and that's running with the exact same car that is in that Dell right now. Well. Crisis 2 is a title that is notorious for bringing PCs to their knees, and this was no exception. Running at high settings at 1080p, we managed to get an average of 13 frames per second, with, an, with a maximum of 29. This is an improvement, but considering Crisis didn't work out, didn't even start before, this is nothing. And when you compare it to running with the slightly newer CPU, it's clear that the aging Pentium D is really holding it back. With Far Cry 3 running at 1080p, at the highest settings, we got around 12 frames per second as an average, and the maximum was 27 frames per second. Though once again, as you can see, this card is really being held back as it is more than capable of running this game when there is newer hardware present. Last of all, there's Skyrim. Skyrim ran at Ultra in 1080p with an average of 36 frames per second and a maximum of 45. Certainly playable, but remember this game was playable with the original piece of junk that the machine came with. So, can a simple graphics upgrade convert a machine as old as Lumbridge here into a fully fledged gaming PC? The short answer is no. However capable the graphics card you put in is, it will always be limited by the other late aging components. If you have a Core 2 Duo or a Core 2 Quad, then a graphics upgrade might be enough to make your machine a gaming PC. But with hardware as slow and as old as this, not much can be done to bring it into today's world of games. 
you are better off to spend your hard-earned money on buying newer parts. For example, the new Devil's Canyon Pentium combined with a cheap or mid-range Radeon or GeForce card will cost you less than $500 and will blow an ancient machine like this out of the water when it comes to performance. Now, I am not saying these old PCs are useless, they still work great for a lot of things, just not for gaming. Don't be a cheapskate thinking you can pop a GeForce into your grandma's old Pentium 4 and have a gaming PC. Save up some money, do some research, and build something new that will last you years to come. If you like this video, do subscribe, and if you have any other requests or questions, pop them in the comments section and I'll see if I can help you out. Have a good evening, and good night.